from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 6. Authorities have released the names of two men killed in Osceola today in a murder suicide outside of a gas station. Good evening. I'm Heather Lewis. Thanks for joining us here at 6. 77 year old Charles Sander of West Plains and 35 year old Lance Kilgore of Nixa were already dead when St. Clair County Sheriff's deputies responded to the gas station where the shooting happened, which was just off of Interstate 13. Tonight, Color 10's reporter Colin Lingo is back in our studio after traveling to that gas Gas station. And Colin, you spoke with the owners. Yeah, Heather, but for the most part, what we saw were residents of Osceola in shock as they tried to process how something so dark could happen in what they call a small, quiet town. Woke up about 7 o'clock this morning, a little after. It was the first news Tyler Bryant heard on Friday morning. Phone call from work saying that there'd been a shooting on the lot. Two men, 77 year old Charles Sander and 35 year old Lance Kilgore. Both dead after what St. Clair County Sheriff Scott Keeler says started as a custody dispute. Apparently, we have a murder suicide resulting from a child custody issue. It happened just outside the gas station Tyler and his mom Nancy own. I was surreal. Unfortunately, we had a rough day today. Nancy says she and her son were the second call made by the employees who watched the shooting. Uh, the employees were awesome. They did a fabulous job. They called 911 while the while the shots were being fired actually she says too there were customers present and she says they acted just as quickly as those employees we had several people here that were having coffee this morning and they all jumped in and tried to help and while heroics are admirable there's still a lingering darkness in the typically peaceful St. Clair County St. Clair County you know Osceola shooting murder that just doesn't add up you know and then you get up here and there's dead bodies on the on the lot. I mean, you know, there's sadness everywhere. We're not immune to that. Now, we mentioned this started as a custody dispute. Heather, we were assured by the St. Clair County Sheriff there were no children harmed during the shooting. At least there's some good news there. Colin, thank you. By the way, that investigation is now being handled by the Missouri State Highway Patrol's Troop D. When Color 10 reached out to the troops' information officer, we were told. There were a few reasons a law enforcement agency might request Highway Patrol to take over the case. One, perhaps the original agency, in this case, St. Clair County Sheriff's Office, is in need of Highway Patrol's extra resources. Or two, if there's a need for extra transparency in the death investigation due to any possible agency involvement in the death. Why St. Clair County has asked Highway Patrol to take over in this specific case, though, is still unknown. Bringing crime.